Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life 2 with Soldier Hawk. Alright, let me just... Oh! Yeah, it hasn't been like four months since I've played or anything. I, I totally meant to do that. That's the thing I meant to do. Okay, you saw nothing. We're gonna move on now. And get away from the poor, sad, depressing guy who had his friend eaten by ant lions. God, that was sad. Okay, let's go kill ant lions. If I remember right, touching the sand is the thing that we don't want to do because then you turn into that guy's friend and you die. So let's not step on the sand. Hmm. Oh crap. Okay, that was lucky. No more rocks. We have goodies. Um That's a pretty clear path. I'm gonna go for it. So the ant lions don't want my feet to touch the sand, but they don't care that I'm dropping crap and walking. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'll go with it. We'll just make this thing happen. doing? Oh, I was picking. I was hitting. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played. <laughs> you have to forgive me getting used to the controls again. Oh. This is scintillating, huh? Soldier Hawk's big four month return thrill as she picks things up and puts them down and walks on top of them. <sighs> nice. Excellent. Okay. Feeling more solid now. I don't like running across sand on boxes. What's over there? I could almost go get those and just walk my way across the sand, but we'll see. If we don't get a chance to go over that way, maybe I'll come back and explore that direction. Okay, I guess the ant lions, they must have a thing against, like, shoes. It's not that they mind vibrations, they just don't like shoes. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Hmm. It has been such a long time since I've played a game without music. Or I guess noticed that I was playing a game without music. 
It really does make it feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of cool. Gordon's quite the acrobat. That's some balance right there. Okay. So, up here then. <laughs> okay. That was a pretty entertaining fail. That was also really lucky. That could have been really bad. We're okay. We got this. We don't got this. Hmm. Maybe if we set it upright? I am not sure how I would do that though. Oh! Oh, I could stack it. Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, bad. Bad. That's bad. Okay. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, die! No! Again! Oh. Well. All things considered, that could have gone a lot worse. I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of miss the dune buggy and the unlimited ammo. <laughs> Okay, so, what's plan B? Because clearly we're not jumping. Um, uh, of course it's a physics puzzle. It's never a stacking puzzle. At some point I am going to learn that in Valve games, there is no such thing as a stacking puzzle. If you ever have to stack things, you're doing it wrong. One would think I have learned this by now. Or I would have learned this by now. But no. Hmm. Yes! Okay. I win. That's right. Physics, I beat you. All right. Ooh. A random abandoned place to explore. Hmm. Let's go take a look. Oh! I think this is where we would have come out if I had taken my little... Uh, cross the sand with the boxes idea. We might have come out here, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm pretty sure, though, that looks like the same rocks. semi-pointless, but that's okay. At least we can say we explored the place. Come here. And by come here, I mean get over here. Oops. I didn't quite mean to do that. Is that anything useful? I can't tell if that's something useful. Nice. You know, we're gonna bust out the crowbar for this. It's gonna make things easier. Oh, I'll well, take batteries. Sure. Ooh. Water. 
Oh, looks like there's something out there. It almost looks like a kelp forest or something. You can see those off the coast here in California. Big old giant things of seaweed near the surface of the water. Hmm. Well, I'm going to save and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to jump in. Just because. Oh, yeah. Okay. In no way was that a good plan. And this is why we always save before we do something stupid. Don't you wish you had save points like that in D&D? &D? Make the game so much nicer. <laughs> Oops. Wrong save. There we go. So lucky. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh yeah. This is gonna be awesome, you guys. Oh wait, actually I can get up there. I don't have to cross the whole sand with this. Good. That was going to be long and boring. gun is the same thing as switching to the gravity gun, right? <laughs> Conveniently. Come on. Okay. I highly doubt that that is actually worth going after. So, we are going to move on. There we go. Alright. Oh, another house. Let's go see what's in there. If we can get to it. Which I think I can. Oh. What's that? Is that what I think it is? is a thumper. That is useful. But first we have to get to it. Okay, this looks like the only way. So... Oh! Crap! Ah! Shit! Okay. I'm running for it. There's a thumper right there. I'm making a run for it. Die! Run! Come on, come on. Oh, we're gonna make it. Ah! Mm -hmm. Come on, start, start, start. We're just to start going. Ouch! Mm -hmm. Shit! Ah. Oh, this is... Oh, that was bad. This is bad. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're done. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mr. Antlion. Yes, you're very ferocious and scary. Okay, we're gonna have to rethink this. Okay, this is safe. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is a walk over there using this stuff. And 
look for the button that way. I can't just do the whole charge of the light brigade thing again. Because that didn't work. You do... I don't understand why it didn't turn on. I don't... Oh, oh. oh crap! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I did not know this was a thing! I will have to keep that in mind. Ant lions and the gravity gun. Okay. So we're gonna have to get out there and try to figure out how to turn it on that that way. Come on. Oh. Or we could take that ramp. Well, at least we can take the ramp to explore the farmhouse, and then we'll go turn the thumper on. Figure out how to turn it on. I swear I hit the button on the thing, though. Always down for power batteries. Nice. It went exactly like I hoped it would. Ah, uh, that was funny. We can go for it. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Excellent. Valve, I see all the ant lions. I see all of the explosive barrels. I think we both know what's about to happen here. Okay, well, in case. 
case you were wondering, antlions can fly over thumpers. out of something if you're a hero or messiah or something? Oh boy. This is how nature says do not enter. <sighs> We're gonna enter, aren't we? Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck so bad. Okay, well, we're not getting back up there. we're ready. We can do this, Gordon. We got this. Oh. I was kind of expecting a massive herd of ant lions. Gotta be an ambush. saw that. It was clearly trying to kill me. So, that was self-defense, and I refused to sit around and feel bad about squishing a bug that tried to kill me. That thing was nasty. Actually, I guess I didn't get hurt that bad. It looked a lot more ferocious than it was. Still. The free man must follow. Okay. Oh, okay. This way it the is. The free man will do wise to heed our expression of the Myrmidon's aromatic pheropods. The process is not entirely hygienic, therefore, stand aside. Myrmidon? Oh, what the hell? The 
Freeman will have need of these pods on the path ahead. Gather them now. Myrmidon like Achilles, Myrmidon? Huh? A free man must follow. So, a, a grenade? I am extremely confused right now. Thanks again, dude. <laughs> How did they find I Chinese I swear by the pods myself. <sighs> Ferropods. What the hell is a ferropod? Well, Dr. Freeman, you're a regular antlion now. Like pheromone? That was a queen. The Freeman must excuse us. It is rude of us to commune by flux shifting in front of those whose vortal inputs are impaired. Yes. We will vocalize in your auditory language as a matter of courtesy. Unless we wish to say unflattering things about you. Just so. <laughs> Long. Do it. I'm pretty sure that's vocalizing in an auditory language, guys. Okay, this is making sense, though. So, if that thing was a queen... Pharopod sounds like fair moon. So it must be a thing that lets you walk across antlion sand. I bet. I bet that's what it is. I bet when you throw it, you can walk across antlion sand without them attacking you. That's gotta be it. Get going, Dr. Freeman. Nova Prospect is just ahead. Um. One man alone wouldn't stand much chance going in there. But a man with a pack of antlions, well, that's a different story. That's right, we're going to Nova Prospect. The Freeman honors us by his presence. Follow Freeman. Right, because we're going to save the Eli. That's why we're going. Okay. Therapods. Attend now and learn to shepherd ant lions with the so-called bug bait. The free man will now break out his pheropod and toss one into yonder pit. Free man can also coax his appliance to attack specific targets. Observe the training mannequin and mark it well with another theropod. The free man again excels at all tasks. Oh, cool. Nice it is to not try and eat my face. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. You guys gonna come with me? Now, attention. Oh. Ow. Apply pressure to your theropod to signal the airplanes in your command to follow you. Free man shows oh. his excellence in all things. And now this one must bid the free man farewell. Nova Prospect lies just beyond. Remember well what you have learned here. The Eli Vance has greatest confidence in you. This is awesome. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. <laughs> this is so cool. There we go. Okay. Good boys. So I get pet ant lions. Well played, Valve. Well played. And well structured. A whole level of avoiding him and getting eaten by him. And then you get to blow them up. Kill a boss. And then take control of them. That's cool. I'm gonna have to get used to their sounds. They keep wanting to attack them. Oh, four of them. I should give them names. Hmm. So, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. Those are my ant lions. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. Stop laughing at me. That's their names.
Oh, hell yeah. Man, Valve knows how to use music. Okay, enough with the recon. We're gonna go kick some ass. This music will let me do nothing but go kick ass. Okay. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Alright, boys. Sick him. come back.
Now we got some peace and quiet. So... Jeez. This is not good. exactly what I thought. Okay, let's try this again. Peter. I'm Opsy. I'm Flopsy. I got in tail. Okay. We got him. He 
<laughs> okay. That was way too much fun. <laughs> Good job, guys. That guy sounds like the Wraith from StarCraft. Okay, where to next? Perfect. place out by yourselves? Wow. They totally did. I didn't shoot a single thing. That's good. Stabilization form directive two. Engage reserve. Contain exogen incursion. Now, your exogen incursion is about to shove some ant, ant lions up your ass. Let's try that again. Much better. Okay. Oh, crap! Seems like a fairly safe campsite, so to speak. 
So, um, it's been almost an hour, I think, so we're going to go ahead and wrap here, and, uh, when we continue, we will, or when we come back, we will continue climbing towards Nova Prospect. And until then, I'll see you next time. Plopsy says goodnight.